Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com, a new Windows 11 build to look at. This is 22504 for Windows Insiders on the Dev Channel. And a few features and changes to show you with this build. One thing which I can show you is um, the Your Phone app has been updated uh, if you're on the Dev Channel. And it's got a slightly new look and feel to it. So here you can see I'm getting notifications on the left hand side and the options to go to messages, photos, phone screen and so on is up here at the top um, and this layout has been uh, slightly changed as well so uh, it's it's a different slightly different way of working so, but it means you can go to say your photo section and you can still see your photos while getting your notifications in so it makes some sense i think i quite like that layout and uh, that's going out on the b channel not actually part of this build but uh, on the dev channel i should say not part of this build but you, you need to be on the dev channel for that okay so what else has changed there are um, 13 new themes on the emoji input panel. So there are 13 new themes on the uh, keyboard input panel. I'm not seeing those at the moment because they're just rolling out to a, to a smaller set of insiders. But uh, this is where, so when you get the touch screen keyboard, you can choose a different style. And they, they'll appear on there. They're just a small group going out at the moment, going out to a small group at the moment. They've added the ability for personalised combination emojis based on uh, your yeah, skin tone, family members, and, and based on face and skin tone and things like that. So a bit more inclusive. Um, these are the emoji panel. Yeah, you can see the new 2D emojis as well. There's a few other things like uh, Windows Alt K to uh, toggle the mute icon in the taskbar. I'm not going to do that now because it'll mute my mic, but that's when you're doing a Teams call. Um, there's some uh, there's support for .NET 4.81 that has uh, native ARM64 support. A lot of fixes with this build as well. So they fixed some things like um, uh, icons not playing, uh, not showing correctly in the recommendations section. They fixed uh, opening start with Shift F10 uh, will be aligned correctly. They fixed some taskbar issues, with, um, right clicking and this will show them in the right place, that kind of thing, and some keyboard input, input issues. They fixed DPI issues, um, so if you, um, depending on your scaling, you could see the prompts not uh, draw correctly, they fixed that as well. There's still some uh, known issues with this build. Um, if you get a, an error code 0x807002, then uh, reboot and uh, try again. That's when you're trying to install this build. And some uh, devices may crash with a bug check, with a bug check and, and roll back to the previous build. And they're saying you may want to wait for the next build if you get that. So um, the full details are on the digitallifestyle.com. And uh, Windows R for, to get the, the run box if you get the start menu problem running applications. It's still in the in the known issues. But that's it for these changes. So um, it's good to see these coming up, um, these things, especially like the Your Phone app. There's a new Windows Media, oh, there's a new media player, not Windows Media player, a new media player replay, replacing the Google Music app. I haven't got that yet, so I can't show you that, but once that comes through, I'll, uh, I'll take a look at that as well. So thanks for watching this video. You can find out more on the digitallifestyle.com.